Do you ever have trouble falling asleep? Do the pressures of your job, family, or financial push a restful night's sleep out of reach? David faced great pressure and yet found a peaceful night of sleep in father's arms. Absalom, A-B-S-A-L-O-M, and his force were in hot pursuit of David, hoping to kill him. In fact, they had camped all around the cave David and his friends were in. Hear me when I call. From within the cave, David called on the Lord to hear his plead and have mercy just as the Lord had done before. With assurance in Father, David asked his enemies how long they are going to mock him and imagine that they can overthrow him. David reminded Absalom, A B S A L O M, that Father has anointed him and that he is set apart from the ungodliness. Verse 3, this is Psalms 4. Verse 3, and separate, separated unto Father in a cold, damp cave surrounded by soldiers and listening to David compose another song. David's close friends question if they had followed the wrong man. Verse 6. They wanted to see results now with a swift victory, not wait on Father. While they whine, David writes songs of praise to Father. Nothing but joy. David's thoughts drift to the annual harvest festival, a time when barns were full of grain and vats were bulging with wine. He lost a palace and the fortunes that came with it. Now he has nothing, yet David's joy is boundless. With tears running down his cheeks, he sings, You have put gladness in my heart, more than the seasons that their grain and wine increase. David put his joy in Father, not in goods. In all his adventures and with all his thoughts of the good days, David had seen nothing he wanted more than his relationship with Father. This gave him peace. I will both lie down in peace and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Verse 8. Verse 8. Though Absalom's A B S A L O M S armed force circled around, David had the only one necessary to keep him safe. No arrow could touch him, no sword could harm him, no army could conquer him. He had Father, he had peace, perfect peace. With peace, that pass all understanding. Philippians chapter 4 verse 7. I'll put that in the description box. Any verse I read in these, I'll put in the description box or anything it talks about. Secure in Father's promises. If you lost your palace, if you lost your palace, what would your reaction be? Would you scream and cry, or would you write songs of praise to Father? Facing many of life's problems, how can you sleep in the Master's arms? First of all, you must be saved, and secondly, you must be like David and lead a sanctified, separate life. When you get saved, you change. What you love changes. What you love to do changes. Significant, signif sanctification makes you love the things you once hated and hate the things you once loved. Why? Because you are set apart for Father. You are in the family of Father. You are saved. 
sanctified. Meditate within your heart on your bed and be still. Be still. Be like a tree. Be still. Just that deep breath like a river flowing. Just imagine a river flowing. You'll feel it come out of your abdomen there. It's amazing. A clear conscience, a right relationship with the Savior, makes for sweet slumber. No pillow is so soft as Father's promises, no blanket so warm as His presence. Yeah, that was called uh, uh, Asleep in the Arms, uh, Asleep in Father's Arms, and it's about Psalms 4. Peace, have a good night, or good morning, have a great day, kill them with kindness. Ah. Uh.